Hello everyone, I welcome you in this online maths lesson for 5th class. Students, we are going to do some multiple choice questions from chapter 10 of your maths book. These are learning outcome based exercises. So, let's start our lesson for today. Here is the first question kids. Dash bars are used in a bar graph to represent data. This question is in the form of a fill in the blank. You have to fill up the blank with the correct word. And the four options are, option A is pie chart, option B is rectangular, option C is circular and option D is pictograph. Kids, you have already learnt about bar graphs. Here is a bar graph. This is an example of a bar graph. It shows the amount of rainfall received in different months. The rainfall in millimeters is shown month wise by using bars and these colored bars show the different amount of rainfall in the different months. And in the above question, we have been asked to find out the shape of these bars. Look carefully at all these bars. They have same shape and they all are rectangular in shape. Now select the right option from the given four options. Yes, the right option is option B that is rectangular and we will put a tick mark at option B. Here is the second question for today's lesson. The children saw some flowers in the garden. They drew a pictograph showing the number of flowers in the garden. Look at it carefully. Yes, one flower is equal to 10 flowers. Now we have to find out the number of flowers in the garden if there are 20 flowers in the pictograph. This is the question and you have to solve it. A scale is given and the four options are option A is 2, option B is 20, option C is 200 and option D is 2000. In this pictograph, the scale is 1 flower is equal to 10 flowers and the children have drawn 20 such flowers in the pictograph. We will find the total flowers if the pictograph has 20 flowers. So, for this, we have to multiply. Yes, we will multiply 20 and 10. When we will multiply 20 with 10, the answer will be 200. So, 20 flowers in the pictograph show 200 flowers. Children saw 200 flowers in the garden. Now, find out the correct option. Yes. Option C, 200 is the correct option and we will tick mark it. This is the third question kids. According to the pictograph, how many cars were sold in Patiala? This is a pictograph. It has two columns. In first column, the name of some cities is given and in the second column, it shows the pictures of some cars. The scale is one car is equal to 100 cars. Let's count the number of cars sold in each city. The first city is Khanna and six pictures of cars are there. So, total number of cars sold in Khanna is 6 multiplied by 100. And that will be equal to 600. Now, the second city is Patiala. And the pictures are 3 in number. So, the total number of cars is 3 multiplied by 100. And that will be equal to 300 cars. Moving to the next city. Third city is Batinda. And the number of pictures is 4. 4 cars are there. So, total 4 multiply by 100 that is equal to 400 cars are sold in Bathinda. Fourth city is Sarhind. 2 picks of cars are there and the total will be 2 multiplied by 100, 200 cars. The last city is Faridkot and the number of pictures of cars is 5. So, the total number of cars sold will be equal to 500. Now, kids, we have found the total number of cars sold in each city. We can easily know the number of cars sold in a city now. We can read the pictograph easily. 
we have to find the number of cars sold in Patiala and that is 300. Now look at the four options and choose the correct answer. Where is 300 written? Yes, we can find 300 at option C. Option C, 300 is the correct option and we will put a tick mark at option C. Now it's homework time kids. I hope you have understood all the MCQs properly. You have to revise them at your home and note down in your notebooks. Take care of your health. Stay tuned to your online studies. Bye. Thanks.